Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here and today I'm going to be installing the new camera app and new keyboard from Android 4.2 and for this you'll need a rooted Android device and I have the Samsung Galaxy S3 here if you want to check out a video on how to root the Galaxy S3. Click on the link here in the annotation or the description and so for the camera app you have to have a rooted device but not the keyboard app and if you don't want to root your device you can skip to installing the keyboard app if you want and so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to have it plugged into the computer here and I'm going to assume that if you already rooted your Android device that you have the necessary drivers you'll need to install or recognize your Android device on uh, your desktop either way just make sure that you're able to uh, recognize your uh, Android device on your computer so that you can drag and drop some files. So now we're going to head over to the desktop and copy the files over to our phone. Alright, so I'm on the desktop here and I've conveniently zipped up the files that we're going to be using and the link will be in the description as always. So I double clicked the file and I'm going to just drag and drop the two files needed onto my desktop here using my favorite 7-zip program. And so now we can go ahead and open up the computer and find our phone, our device. So we'll double click on that and I happen to have two storage devices here. Uh, one's an e external memory card and the one's an internal memory card. I'm going to go ahead and, and copy it over to the internal memory card. And so I'll just click and drag these two files over. And there's no need to unzip the camera app, you're going to leave that alone. And so now that we have our files, we can go back to our phone. Alright, so now it's safe to unplug our phone and so now we're going to find the two files that we've just installed so I'm gonna go ahead and first install the uh, keyboard app since that's the easiest so I'll go to a file exploring app the one I'm using is called root Explorer but you can use another app called the Astro file Explorer or manager if uh, you want to find that because this is a paid app but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start this app. And so here I've got the file. Here's a kb.apk, that's the file I copied over. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. And I'll select OK and install. If you get an error about uh, installing unknown sources, you have to go to your developer's options and select the unknown sources. And so we'll go ahead and click on Done. And now we are ready to uh, try out the keyboard app. So what I've got loaded up here is a uh, memo and I'm going to go ahead and start using one of the new features on the keyboard app is the swipe option here. And uh, I really like that because the word pops up as you're typing. So it's uh, highlighted nicely there. Right? And it's uh, pretty accurate. I'm not much of a swipe user, but uh, this is uh, uh, pretty pretty accurate and uh, pretty easy, convenient. I like it because I can still do my normal touch type um, because that's what I'm mostly used to. Uh, other swipe programs that I've used, uh, it doesn't it either, either works as a really good swipe program, uh, but a terrible typing program because it wants to try to. It thinks that you're you're just always defaulting or wanting to do swipe but this one it really separates the two very well so if I want to use swipe for whatever reason uh, it will uh, use swipe very well but um, whenever I want to go back to my uh, normal two thumb texting typing rapid tap type of uh, uh, typing that it works really well as um, as that too all right so that's in pretty much enough of the keyboard app now we're going to install the camera app alright so the camera app is a little bit more involved and so the first thing we got to do is that we're going to modify and this is where the root uh, requirement comes in we're going to modify the build.prop and if you go to the Play Store and you type in build.prop so B U I L D dot P R O P. One of the first apps that is going to come up is uh, build.prop editor, and you want to install that. 
and once you get it installed you're you have a list of your build.prop file and there's a couple of things that we're going to need to change first is the ro.product.model yours is going to have something else here right it's not going to say galaxy nexus but what you do need to do is change this to galaxy nexus right once you do that you accept and then we got to move down to another part another uh, section of the line here and that is the ro.product.brand and you have to type in Google most likely it'll say something else like Samsung or whatever model phone you have right and so you have to change that to Google and if you have the Galaxy Nexus obviously you don't need to be doing this because yours is already gonna say that right so then we click on the check mark to accept and that's pretty much it now we have to go into the recovery mode so I'm gonna go ahead and power off the phone here and now that the phone is off we're gonna go into the recovery mode and to do that you have to hold the volume up power and home key all at the same time so we'll press all three at the same time and once you see the Samsung logo flash real quick as uh, and some blue letters up on the top left there you're gonna let go really quickly you don't want to hold it too long so as soon as you see the Samsung logo flash you let go of the three buttons and now we're in the recovery mode here and we're going to go ahead and install our camera zip file that we copied over to the phone so I'll go ahead and select install from SD card and then I'm going to choose zip card zip from internal SD card this option here and then down at the bottom I have the camera.zip file so I'll choose that and then I'll go to yes install the camera and now it's installing the camera and it's done so we can then go back All right so we'll go back and then we'll go to reboot system now and now our phone's gonna reboot and now we're gonna play around with the camera app all right so now that we're back on the desktop here if you go to your apps you're gonna notice that you have you might have two camera apps here this one was the stock one from Samsung that was built into the phone this is the new camera app here so I'll go ahead and fire that up and you can tell that it's the new one because it's just got the one dot here right and so um, what's a cool feature about this is that you can press anywhere and you'll bring up your options so then you can now select by just sliding around right and you can make different choices and choose different settings and then you can choose different uh, white balances here which is really cool right but the really cool new feature that everybody's gonna probably want is this photosphere app so when you fire this up I'm not really gonna show you uh, how it works but basically you just take some pictures and you basically align the phone here it's gonna take the first picture and then you would move around and so on and so on and you line up the dot there it works out really cool if you uh, want to check out a couple of the uh, pictures that I've taken they're not that great I hope to do more but uh, a friend of mine took a picture of me uh, working in the in the living room with some computers um, it's on my Google Plus page, so the link will be in the description as well for the uh, Google Plus um, page. And so that's pretty much it. That's how you get the uh, camera app and keyboard app onto your Android device. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.